Hello and welcome to the new UTTV News. I'm Irina Vukosavich. And I'm John Smith. This week we explore why you guys don't give a damn about sports on campus. We also take a look at the TA strike going on this week when the deadline has been set for this Friday. Baby, tell me all about it. Disgruntled QP 3902 supporters gathered last Thursday at a rally held outside Simcoe Hall to raise awareness about their grievances with the administration. And it's a fight that we're also taking against this administration, this pathetic administration. <laughs> I'll, I'll repeat that, the shitbox administration. <laughs> QP members stress their concerns regarding quality of education. They're not just fighting for their own sake, they're fighting also for uh, their undergraduate education. I mean, the, I think there's a focus at this university on, on, on research, and uh, because this is where the university gets its prestige, then, so there, it feels like undergraduate education has been a bit left out in the process. The fights that we have behind us right now, um, it's not about wages. Uh, it is not just about wages. I want to make that clear. This is about quality of education. What we are fighting for here uh, is about class sizes, um, about um, kind of the ratio between instructor and, and students. Many undergrads also showed up to show their support for the union. Whenever I sit in like my, my advanced um, mathematics tutorial, where there are around 150 students, I feel that sometimes the, the TA in question doesn't really care about like answering like any like advanced level questions or problems that I may have, and I feel like that's really like depriving me of the kind of education that I feel I deserve. Graduate students are basically indentured servants. They get paid $40 an hour to uh, to teach a bunch of like annoying undergrads um, stuff that they learned when they were when they were an undergrad. All we have to do is not sit complacently by as we sit through another lecture given by our overworked and underpaid teaching assistants and instead stand in the streets and instead get together and talk about what is wrong in our education system and how we can strive together to change it. The Graduate Students Union also expressed their support of CUPE. I think the main, the main reason that we support them is because we believe very strong in the value of our research and we believe in the value of the teaching that we're supposed to do and uh, we believe that these planks are set a, a, a needed basic minimum standard uh, to ensure that those things are met. The two sides are still attempting to negotiate an agreement. The administration declined an interview with UTTV. However, they released a letter on February 9th stating that the university will do its utmost to reach a renewal collective agreement with QP 3902. If a strike does occur, the university will remain open and will respect the decision of those Unit 1 members who wish to continue working. There's three main issues or problems that we're trying to get at. Those problems are the declining research funding for graduate students, we have a problem where the administration has cut funding for upper year students. And then the third problem has to do with the ballooning size of, of tutorials here on campus and the, and the size of labs on campus. There are some people that are greedy here on University of Campus. Uh, the administrators, the top 50 administrators, make over $304,000 a year. $304,000 a year, plus over $5,000 in fringe benefits. The union has set a strike deadline for February 24th if the two sides have not reconciled. The strike's the last ditch effort to try to get the administration to solve some of these problems. We've been in negotiations for now for eight months, and it's time we find some solutions at the bargaining table. That involves a two-way dialogue, and the administration has to take those negotiations much more seriously. In the event that there is a strike, the tutorials and uh, the labs will not be running because there'll be no one there to run them and any marking that uh, would have happened will be put on hold or deferred until uh, after the strike. Bargaining will continue until the strike deadline. It remains to be seen if an agreement can be reached. Thank you very much, Irina, for that very well put together segment. Yeah, no problem, John. And actually, UTTV News is going to be all about that now, getting the nitty gritty of journalism. Brothers and sisters at Coop 3902 fight for your rights. Don't be a scab. Keep on keeping on. Amen to that. Next, my main man Hoi Choi explores what you guys think is a better use of your time other than going to sports events to see other schools kick our school's ass. This is UTTV's weekly sports segment. I'm your host, Hoi Chi. U of T is a massive school with a rich sports history. The only problem is, 
nobody knows anything about it. UTTV wants to know why there's such a big disconnect between the student body and varsity sports. As one of the largest and most prestigious universities in the country, why aren't there better turnouts at sports events? We're going to go ask the students themselves. Let's see what we find out. Have you ever been to a varsity game? No, I have not. No. I've <laughs> I've been to a varsity football game on the opening. I stayed for like about a half. That's about it. Unfortunately, no. I used to live right by the varsity stadium, but I never went. How do you feel about the game? <laughs> um, <laughs> to be honest, just there wasn't that many people there, and like quarterback was wasn't really throwing spirals, so it was kind of I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't that exciting. What do you know about varsity sports? Uh, there are lots of U of T players on them. Much like 85% of the U of T population, absolute shit. I know there's several teams. I know that, I think it was, was it the soccer team that had like a 50 streak lose, losing streak? Um, I, I don't know, but I know we're not terribly good at it. Ouch. I know that the varsity rugby team has to hold like bake sales so they can play. <laughs> what would it take to get you and your friends to go to a game? Um, probably if my, one of my friends was playing, I think. Maybe a combination of money and better teams. Not just collective attitude. I mean, like everyone started going. We kind of make a social event, be kind of fun. I mean, like I don't want to go just by myself to watch a game. <laughs> I don't know. Right, thank you. So there you have it folks. The overwhelming answer is that students at University of Toronto really don't know that much about sports at University of Toronto. So we're going to aim to change that. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to see how we do. My man Hoichi, that was one heck of a segment. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the series premiere of the newest, greatest UTTV News. And if you're interested in joining the super awesome team as a director, editor, or news writer, you can shoot us an email. I'm Irina Pukasavich. And I'm John Smith. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Three. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? I just came up with like, an idea. I think if you say thank you for that, and then I say that's what's gonna be. Okay. Like that makes yeah. more sense, right? Yeah, it you're does. Not, like, it. Talking yeah, yeah, to yeah. yourself, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'll be like, and you know what, John? That's what uh, UTTV News is gonna be all about. The nitty gritty stuff. The down nitty gritty the, stuff. Down in the dirt. Down in the dirt. <laughs> Digging fighting holes. With, fighting with the pigs. <laughs> Fight the pig. <laughs> Fuck the pigs. <laughs> Fuck the power. Fuck the police. No justice. No peace. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here for <laughs>